Hello, this lip sync test is made in Moho using Smart Bone Tool. What do you think? Welcome back, everyone. Today, let's talk about lip syncing in Moho. I've experimented with several approaches to create lip sync in Moho. First, I tried using the switch layer system. The problem with that method is it doesn't allow smooth transitions between vowel shapes it ends up looking more like stop motion animation. Then I tried using a single smart bone to control all the mouth shapes. While that gave me smoother animation, I ran into a limitation. I couldn't control specific vowels precisely. For example, when transitioning from E to U, I had to pass through the O shape, which I didn't want. After all that trial and error, I finally found a technique that works really well, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Let's get started. Here, I have already created the character's head except for the mouth. Now I'm going to show you how to create the mouth. I will start with drawing a rectangle shape. Let's add some more points, right on the top and at the bottom. If you have seen my previous 360 head rotation video, you probably already know the process of how I make a mouth in one layer. I also put the link in the description. Please go and check it if you haven't seen it yet. Using free hand to, to add some stroke around the mouth shape. Let's hide some stroke using line width 2 and leave the one at the bottom. Now let's add some bones. I will simply just add a bone, remove the string, and enable the anchor constraints. Then copy and paste it for several times using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now let's name the bones based on the different vowel sounds one by one. Now let's press Ctrl plus K to bring up the action panel. Let's start making the smart action for the first vowel, which is A, I or R. Select the mouth layer. Now let's start shaping the mouth. In this case, if you do not have any specific mouth reference, just follow with me. When I'm happy with the shape what I want, I'm going to copy these keyframes. To use is in a different vowel when they have similar mouth shapes. I will just paste the keyframe that I just copy from our first mouth shape. I will just keep doing the same process for any other different vowels.
In order to make the character look more alive, I will just add some more movement on the jaw. Every time when the mouth opens, the jaw should be opening as well. Including the ear from both sides, let's make them move a little bit. Different mouth shapes open to different extent. Some flowers require the mouth to open wide, while others require open more narrow. So try to adjust the jaw movement based on how much the mouth open for the flowers. Now let's try making lip syncs animation. Hello, this lip sync test is made in Moho using Smart Bone Tool. What do you think? First of all, let's select all the bones and turn on the show label so we can see the bone with their names. When animating lip syncs, it is important to turn on this, this auto freeze feature. It will help you to record all keyframes from all bones at the same time. So the first word comes hello, ha. So I'm going to open the a vowel, things like that. Hello. Then I will uh, close the a sounds and open the l sound. Next will be the O vowel. Now in the gap area, I will just leave it as the rest or relax shape. Hello, this. Hello. As you can see, we have made a very smooth lip syncing. Let's move on. This, this, this. For the this and each sounds, we can use a CDKJT mouth shape. This. So just keep watching my demonstration. Remember the M and B and P is just the same as the relaxed mouth shape. This lip sync test is made in Moho. Hello. This lip sync test is made in Moho. Using Smart Bone Tool.
und tschüss. Using smart bone tool. What do you? What? Do you what? Do you What do you think? Hello, this lip sync test is made in Moho using smart bone tool. What do you think? Now it's time to set the mouth shapes when the head turned to the left or right. Duplicate the current mouth layer and I'm going to name it turn left. Now navigate to the smart action and trying to adjust the mouth shape make it to be looking like turn to the left so just keep doing the same process for the other vowels Once you are done adjusting the mouth shapes to the left, duplicate that layer and flip it over. Now we have three different mouth layers with different directions. Let's turn on the animated effects for all mouth layers. I will turn off the visibility for the mouth layers which are on the side view. I already made the head turn smart action except the mouth so now we are going to add the mouth when moving the mouth to the side please do not use the transform point tools instead use layer transform tool just to avoid any unwanted issue later on copy the keyframes from the first mouth layer and paste them on the mouth turn left layer now on the first mouth layer at frame 6 and check the visible effects now we no longer see the first mouth after frame 6. Navigate to the mouth turn left layer. Turn on visible effects at frame 6. Now let's move on for the head turn right. Just do it the same as we did before. Hello, this lip sync test is made in Moho using Smart Bone Tool. What do you think? Hello, this lip sync test is made in Moho using Smart Bone Tool. What do you think? Hello, this lip sync test is made in Moho using Smart Bone Tool. What do you think? Hello, this lip sync test is made in Moho using Smart Bone Tool. What do you think? Alright, so that is the end of this tutorial guys. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section below. I will answer it as quick as possible. See you again in the next video.